After 12 hours of grinding, after 1,700 gems of spend, Minotaur has been crushed. And we are building masteries on five champions today. Completing them all because we have Tyrant, we have Rathalos, we have Armand, Ursula, and Geomancer all waiting for their masteries to be completed. And this team is about to get exploded into the stratosphere. It's time to do masteries. Now, if you guys are brand new here, make sure that you subscribe to the channel for everything Raid Shadow Legends every day. That's following me on my journey, taking me through the guides, or I'm taking you through the guides, and of course, downloading Raid utilizing my QR code or my link in the description. If you haven't ever played, or if you're a returning player and you want to get a head start in the game, a cheat code, I call it. Well, that's how you do it. And you get Rector Draft when you use my code, guys. So that is a win in itself, plus a bunch of other resources. But most importantly, let's be honest, it directly supports my channel. It directly supports me and keeps me playing Rage Shadow Legends. So I appreciate all of you that decide to give me that support. Thank you very much. Now let's get in to these masteries. Now, first things first, we're going into these masteries of Tyrant. And as you can see, we're building out a very defensive build right here. This is one that is probably not the most popular with Tyrant, but remember, we can always change it if we want to. But I want to take you guys through what the next steps are going to be. Well, the first step, next step is right here. We're going right there, and we're unlocking this one. Cycle of Revenge has a 50% chance of increasing the turn meter by 15% when an ally is attacked with a critical hit. Now, the whole idea with him is to come right down to here and decrease all the damage no, I'm sorry. Decrease the damage that all allies receive by 5%. This, this champion is going to get the damage himself instead. He's going to be the tank for the team. That was where we were trying to get with that one. And I'm feeling really good about that one as well. Now, in addition to that, we're going to come on down over here. Has a 30% chance to extend the duration of any buff cast by this champion by one turn. We want to unlock that one also. Now we can also come on over and I want to come here. Decreases the damage an ally receives from the first enemy hit in each round by 20%. He's going to be a damage eater. That is the build. That is the thought here. That's how we're using Tyrant. He's going to eat the damage and then we're going to be able to heal him up. At least that's the plan. We got to put him in maybe some uh, lifesteal gear. We'll see how that gets built out. But this is the Tyrant build. That I'm going. Actually, I have a little bit more that I could spend right here. What? Mm, increase the amount of healing. No, I. I think we should possibly come over here. Amount of healing and value shield buffs placed by this champion. Hmm. We can go there, or we can come on over to here. Heals this champion by six percent of their max page HP each time an enemy is healed. We're gonna grab that one right there because then he can get that extra heal, being that he's taking that extra damage. I love it. Tyrant is in the books. The guy is finally maxed out on masteries. It feels real good. Look at him. He feels, he's excited and I'm excited too, but that's not all. We got to go into the boy, the man, the one that we've actually been investing our books into. The only one that has any books inside of him is Rathalos and his masteries are now ready to be built. All right, you ready for this? We, we essentially have him almost all the way built out. We just gotta do all of his red skis right now. And we're building this guy out to be a nuker. We want him to hit hard. We want him to completely demolish people. Now we are in the defense tree, as you can see. There's one more, one final that we need to drop, and that's gonna be right here. Retribution has a 50% chance to counterattack when this champion loses 25% of their max HP or more every single turn. Yeah, more attacks, counterattack damage. We're gonna have Rathalos dropping as much damage as he can. But we have three more spots. Number one, I like Skulls. We're going with Killstreak, all right? Increases damage inflicted by 6% in the area and 3% in all other locations for each enemy killed in the champions in battle. Stacks across each round in a battle up to 12. Following that, we're going right next door to Methodical. Increases the damage inflicted by this champion's default skill by 2% each time it's used during battle and it stacks across each round in a battle up to 10%. Finally, where are we going? Helm Smasher? Or do we come down here to War Master? Let's make that decision together right here. War Master has a 60% chance of inflicting bonus damage when attacking. That sounds really good. 
Bonus damage is equal to 10% of the target champion's max HP, or 4% of the target's max HP when attacking bosses. Bonus damage can only occur once per skill and does not count as an extra hit. Or we can go with Helm Smasher, has a 50% chance of ignoring 25% of the target's defense for skills that ignore defense. This 25% is in addition to the amount ignored by the skill. I actually just want to, yes, we can ignore defense, but I just want to drop damage. I just want to go War Master. So we're dropping, the, we're dropping the damage. We're going for an absolute damage build. And you know what we got right now? We got a happy Rathalos. He's ready to go. He's jammed up. And he's the most skilled up legendary champion I freaking own on this account. Yeah. Yeah, you've probably never seen a, a Mastery's Guide like this before, have you? No. Don't even tell me you have, because I know you have it. Next up is Armand's, one of our newest and one of the best legendary champions that we have, but for different reasons. Let's actually dive into his masteries and see what we're doing. Jesus, my computer. I think my computer's about to explode. Do you hear it? Crossing my fingers, we don't blow up. We got a raid video to finish right here, but we're going on a very defensive and supportive build with Armand's right here. He's not the guy that's gonna be dropping the damage. He's not the nuker here. No, he's the one that's keeping everyone from hitting us. So you know what? Let's start with the support tree, why don't we? We're gonna come on over to this book. We're going to the Angry Eyes next door called Evil Eye. Decreases the target's turn meter when this champion hits them with the default skill for the first time and decreases the turn meter by 20% with single target skills and by 5% for AoE. Let's go. That is an easy one spent. We're going over here as well because this guy has thorns sticking into him. Mm-hmm. Yes, he does. Has a 30% chance to extend the duration of any debuff cast by this champion by one turn. I, it will not extend stun, sleep, freeze, provoke, fear, true fear, bomb, or petrification debuffs. Easy buy. And finally, we're going down to the eagle eye. Accuracy plus fifth. Wait a second. Do we need accuracy for him? Hmm. I don't, oh, we're going with that anyway. I thought we didn't need accuracy for him. You know what, though? That's, that's what I was told to do. I'm going with that one. It's fine. It's fine. All right, we're over here on the defense tree. Delay death. I like staying alive. Reduce the damage this champion receives from a specific enemy by 70.75% with each hit taken from that enemy. Damage reduction stacks up to 6%. Let's keep the man alive as long as we can. And then we have two more, 400 that we could spend. And we're starting over here with Retribution. Has a 50% chance to counter attack when this champion loses 25% of their max HP for more or more from a single enemy skill. Counter attack, keep them from attacking, beautiful. And we're finishing up right here on deterrence has a 20% chance to counterattack an enemy when they apply any of these debuffs on an ally. The cooldown is only one turn. It's Armand's baby. That's Armand's built up. And you know what? You know Armand's? He's excited too. He's excited. Now there's two more that are gonna be excited and one of them is Ursula the Mourner. Now Ursula is being built out to be a complete reviver. She's the one that when the team dies, we bring everyone back and we're like, surprise clan boss. You gotta, you gotta spank us better than that. So we're almost built out here. We're actually looking pretty good. We only need one more here in the defense tree and that's gonna be Cycle of Revenge. Has a 50% chance of increasing the turn meter by 15% when an ally is attacked with a critical hit. Will only increase the turn meter once if an ally receives multiple critical hits from a single skill. We're gonna try and get that as much as we can, but now we have to build a little bit more in the support skill uh, tree. Keep in mind, she's maxed already on these beige and on these green scrolls, so we only had to do reds on her, which is actually quite nice. We're coming on over here to Spirit Haste. Increases the speed by eight for each dead ally and stacks up to 24. Love that. I also love what's next to it, which is Lasting Gifts. Has a 35, I'm sorry, a 30% chance to extend the duration of any buff cast by this champ by one turn it will not extend the following buffs. That's fine, we're buying that one as well. And there's one more, we're dropping to the lower lane here. Timely Intervention is the final mastery being spent. Increases this champion's turn meter by 20% whenever an ally hero drops below 25% HP. What is this doing? It's allowing her to get more turns, which will get her more quickly to her revive, so she can bring them back to life after they die, because they're already at 25%. 
Well, that sounds smart to me. It looks like Ursula is a happy camper now, isn't she? She's one of my favorites, by the way. I absolutely love Ursula. I also love Bad L, who we built Masteries out on the other day. I don't know if you saw that video or not, but if you didn't, you should check it out. We purchased his Masteries. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Go check out the video, guys, because it was a really good one on how we built him out and the reasoning behind it. Lastly, and possibly the most important, is going to be Geo. Why Geo? Because we gotta get down low on Geo. This guy needs to get the masteries done so we can see his full capabilities. This, this is where it all changes for him. Where are we going with him? Where is this build gonna be completed? We have 950 of the red scrolls. Let's start with the support tree. We're gonna come on over here and finish things off in this row. Required rank five, sniper increases the chances of placing in any debuff from skills or artifacts by 5%. It won't increase the following. No burn there, we're taking that one. Also, we're going with the pins and needles again. Master Hexer, 30% chance to extend the duration of any debuff cast by this champion by a turn. We're gonna grab that as well. I'm loving that so far. But now we go to where it gets exciting and that's on the offense. It's on the offense and all we gotta do is two more very simple placements. The first is going to be right here for Methodical. Increases the damage inflicted by this champion's default skill by 2% each time it's used during battle. And it stacks across each round in battle by 10% easy unlock and then we choose between hell's helm smasher or war master you know I'm war master. what do we have we have a happy geomancer and a happy echo because this is the guy we've been waiting to get masteries on forever so now i want to go battle test these guys but when we go i think i already did my clan boss stuff i, I just kind of want to see what clan boss i use my keys gosh gosh diddly darn it we used our keys so we can't go in there, at least not right now. We'll wait for that for another day, another video. It'll be really actually quite fantastic. But you know what's going on right now? A tournament. What tournament is going on? Spider? Well, let's see. Now everyone in Spider and my Spider team is not actually who we are using, but let's see right now. I'm gonna turn off Super Raids and I'm just gonna put it on auto and I wanna see what can actually be worked here. We have two champions in here right now that are getting a buff essentially from the upgrades that we just did, from the masteries that were done. Let's see if Tyrant and Rathalos with those masteries can beat a level of spider that has never been beaten before. Those burning spiderlings, if they bite me, nope, we killed them. My timing could be off. Timing could have been swiddaddled here. We did, see we lost War Maiden. I'm gonna switch in, um, I'm gonna switch in Geo for War Maiden. I don't think that she's the play right now, not at level 50. Not when I'm sitting with 60 max level champions that are that are masteried now. Not completely booked, let's be honest here. But we are, we are smashing this. We are smashing the spider. The whole plan here is to like kill the spider and let the spiderlings hit you while they're burning, and then the spider takes all that damage. But I mean we're just we're just rolling right through them. See, I, I even think High High Katoon should be taken out of here just because of her level. I, I, this is great. This is great. Let's change the team. Let's try 14. I'm gonna switch out War Maiden though. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. We're gonna switch out War Maiden. We're gonna put in Geo. Geo, Geo does turn me to reduction, but I'm wondering if that, I think it does work on Spider. Look at all the Spiderlings dead. We just got some damage from above as well. Curious how this is gonna roll. We are still crushing through. So now High Katoon is the one that's holding us back. I don't know if we're getting the, ooh, ooh. Now this is where Bad Elk could come in because we can get a continuous heal. Every time they attack, we could get our guys healed up. From that skill, he has his masteries as well. That could be a nice, I, when I have a champion down and they're a level 50, not a 60, it makes me say, do, am I actually getting the value? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> am I actually getting the value out of that champ? Like right here, High Katoon. Am I actually getting the value out of her? I don't know, probably not. So we're gonna go to 15 right here. High Katoon's coming out. We're putting in Bad L. His aura skill increases ally crit rate in all battles. Do we want to switch that and increase ally HP or crit rate? Or attack. Well, that's in dungeons. Or we can go here and we can get HP. No, we don't want that. Or we can go Geo and we get HP by 25. Uh, you know what we want to do? We want to do this. Because then I believe HP in all battles. I believe then he'll actually take the damage too. And remember, he is a damage eater for us. He eats the damage. He's in that primary slot. He could, he, being in that front roll, you could be the one that has to, you know, eat stuff. Okay, 
I my life is still good. Look at look at Tyrant. Look at that. He's sitting with a good amount of health. Oh God, we are gonna spank 16. Rathalos is hitting like a freaking truck right there. Kale not going down. Oh, we gotta look at affinities though. We we could run into some affinity problems as we progress a little further. Good night. Good night. Whoop, whoop, whoop. It's a triple woo right there. Man, I'm feeling good about it. Next, we're going on to Spider 16. What's the affinity? Green? Gr wow, that's good for Tyrant. It's good for Kale. It's bad for these three. Bad L. Oh, that was so good. So good. Spider 16, here we come. The difference that Mastery's making an account. By the way, I want to remind you guys, Wednesday live streams, 9 or 10 a.m. Eastern time, we're live playing Raid. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that when we do go live, you guys are there with me. I love going live with the community. It's honestly a lot of fun. I learn from you guys every single time. All right, we, we, we lost some dudes here. Uh, it's only Kale. Oh, God. It's only Kale. I lost my big, I, my nuker's gone. Ugh. Can we? Oh, uh, no. We're not, we're not doing this. This isn't going to happen. We failed. It's time to try this again. Yeah, here. We're going to try it. What is her speed? That's Doom Tower. All right, let's try this out. We're giving it a go, seeing what it'll do. And while we do, I'm going to pull out a few comments from the community. We have Johnny saying, Masteries are big. I think Masteries is such an important as having your champ built with good gear. And in my opinion, you should always farm Masteries, not only cost less gems, but also levels up the champ while you're farming Masteries for them. And Raid is all about double dipping. I completely agree. I do say that sometimes it's worth buying the Masteries for 800 gems. You, you spend a little bit more gems in the long run, but you're right about double dipping. We talked about that in the Bad L video completely. Was it the Bad L video? Or, no, it was the other video. It was the one about doing all these guys. Yeah, either way, you should watch them all. But thanks so much, Johnny, for the comment. Another one we have is from Ben Allen. Minotaur is my most farmed dungeon. I just throw in my arena. Nuker is my farmer to get fast runs, XP, and scrolls and who I want, and more silver, because you can never have enough of that. Totally true. Minotaur is great. Once you get your... Th Did we lose Geo right there? Well, we do have our Ursula in here, remember. So the Reviver could very well help us. So let's see if she does her job. I mean, honestly, I just threw a makeshift together team right here. Oh, look at this. We have another one, another comment. This comment's coming in from Sauce. And he says, buddy, I still play Clash. Because in a previous video, I asked... Who still plays Clash of Clans and knows me from that community from back in the day? Look at the damage being done to them now, though, too. That's actually working. And then he says, the wall grind was a per perfect comparison for Masteries. Keep up the good work and the awesome content. Hashtag made it. Thanks so much, dude. I appreciate the comment, as always, and all the support, as I do from all of you guys here in the community. It looks like Spider 16 is the end of us. We're keeping the... Look at Tyrant, though. He is eating this up. We tried. We did make some good spider progress though, guys, I have to say. Pretty happy with it. Well, we'll work a little bit more. Obviously that team is not tuned to do spider. It was just me kind of throwing stuff together right there. But I hope you enjoyed the video today. We got, ooh, progressive chance going on. Hmm, another shard pull video. We should be doing that pretty soon. I like those. Remember to download Raid Shadow Legends utilizing my QR code or link in the description. I know I say it every video, but it really does help me. And if it, if it doesn't happen, well, who knows what will happen. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Remember, live streams every Wednesday.